think it's really important. Um, it was really important to, to to not lose the game. Um, there were parts of our play with the ball that we know have got to be a lot better than, than it was. Um, but as I said after the game, who knows? It might be a point closer to you know uh, the fourth bottom. And with results, that's how it's that's how it's been now. So uh, with Burnley beating Everton the other night, it gets us a point closer. Um, but we know we've got to be better than we were in that game. I did, yeah. It was a, it was what I expected. Um, you know, they're scrapping for every point, and um, they've been in the situation many times. And, and Sean has got them out of it many times as well. Um, so, you know, it was a performance that I expected in conditions that, you know, were weren't really an April game. Um, but you know, they got a well-deserved win on the night. I just think it's a game that we've got to be really good in. Um, you know, and whatever the be will be, you know, we've got to go and try and win the game. We will do, um, but we have to be better than we have been over recent weeks, and I, I'm sure we will be as well. But we we're putting them into situations in training where they have to make make good decisions. So um, the more repetitive that can be in making good decisions, then the more likely they're going to do it on a match day. Um, you know, I've always said that confidence is a big thing in football. Uh, I think um, the point at Brighton. Not the performance, but the points, and then the results. I don't need to tell the players how big the game is. Uh, I think that will help the confidence in itself. So, you know, we'll, we'll have some players coming back as well. Uh, Brandon Williams is back training today. Um, Lucas Rupp is back training today. I'm hopeful that Max Aaron is back training as well. So, we've got players coming back as well. Yeah, he's done brilliant at Burnley, and you know, you can't question the uh, success they've had there to be in the Premier League for so long. I think they went down once and came straight back up. Um, and um, to, to keep a, a team with the financial limits that they, they have at, uh, at Burnley in, in the Premier League has been brilliant. Yeah, and hopefully it does, it, it is a turning point. Um, it wasn't a great performance, but it was a, it was good, a good result. Um, you know, and uh, from that, hopefully we can take some confidence going into this game now. We all know what we've got to do. You know, we don't have to, study anything we you know we don't have to do too much analysis on, on Burnley I'm sure most of our players watch that game on, on Wednesday night and will know what to expect um, but we're getting into last chance saloon now and um, you know I think when you do it's an opportunity and hopefully that opportunity will will have a lot of players rise to it yeah I think the the two players who you mentioned there were excellent last week and um, they've got their leadership qualities that we want to, to pass on and, and help the younger players develop. Um, I thought the two of them were really good and we need them kind of performances from them throughout the through the rest of the season. Um, but we, we want the others to start stepping up now as well. Um, the, the two of them, both internationals, both played a lot of games at Premier League level as well, so they understand the situation. And um, I think when the others see them playing well, you know, they can certainly take a, a lot from them. Yeah, they're certainly fighting us and that will never leave us. Um, I saw how angry Craig was at, at Leeds uh, a few weeks ago. Um, you know, so the players know how much it means. You know, I've never been relegated in my managerial career um, and I'll, I want that to continue. Um, I know it's going to be tough, but we'll certainly, we'll certainly be battling uh, every step of the way. Uh, we've got a couple of illnesses, um, but we won't know how, how they are until tomorrow. Um, you know, well, I won't go into who they are, but we've got a couple of illnesses within the camp. Uh, but it's good to have them three players back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's um, going to go back to his parent club and, and get treatment there. I think it's a significant injury, muscle injury, uh, hamstring that's going to that's ruled him out for the season. So um, he'll go back to his parent club. I don't know. I don't know how all the fans are feeling. Um, you know, I don't. I don't phone everyone up or I don't read social media. Um, you know, but. I've always said it's always about the players going out there and performing and the fans can feed off that. I think our game is always going to be about what we do with the ball. Um, we want to become a hard, we want to get back to being a hard to beat team. Um, I don't think we're, uh, we've lost, we lost our, our way a little bit in that. It's hard when you're playing against the likes of Liverpool and Man City over the three games, but um, you know, that was, we, we saw that, I think, at Brighton, that we became hard to beat. We defended our penalty box really well. Um, but if we go and just think about the physicality of Burnley, then we'll get beat because they've got really good footballers in their team as well.